Bam, bam. 15 minutes of heat here for you on 790, the ticket. We're going to talk to former Miami Hurricanes wide receiver Amon Richards in about 10 minutes or so and uh, get into what he's got going on. Um, I guess it's going to be interesting today, Leroy, that he will be back in practice talking to the media. Um, yesterday, you had some NBA players, especially on the uh, on the Toronto Raptors and the Boston Celtics, uh, talking, having meetings, obviously what happened in our country, uh, recently with, uh, with Jacob Blake, uh, getting shot the way that he did in the video that went viral. A lot of, uh, NBA players, Fred Van Viet put voice to this, Marcus Smart, uh, Jalen Brown, um, that there have been talks that they don't want to play. And I know this was some of the talk, you know, before we went into the bubble about not playing basketball and sending a message that way. Um, <laughs> But I guess according to Fred Van Vliet, there has been some talks amongst the Raptors about just not playing basketball. Man, I would say everybody's so frustrated. Like, um, I was torn because there's really nothing that I could say to change anybody's mind as far as playing versus not playing. My thing is this, is that you will have more of a platform if you play. And and so from that standpoint, use your platform to put the message you want out there. Um, But when you say to people, you're not doing it the right way. Um, Quiet, uh, you need to be quiet, not violent. You need nonviolence. And all those avenues have been tried and we still have the same situations. Then what? You know, you've asked peaceful protests. You've had some people who have gone violent protests. You have some people who have used, you know, politics to try to get something done. You have had people who have used their platforms to get something done, whether it's Twitter, Facebook, football, any sport, right? And we're still having the same circumstances. What can you possibly say to somebody to say to promote change and to get something done that what they're doing is not the right way to go about it when nothing else has worked? Yeah, Fred Van Vliet said yesterday, I was pretty excited, and then we all had to watch Jacob Blake get shot yesterday. That changes the tone of things. It just starts feeling like we're doing uh, everything we're doing is just going through the motions and nothing's changing. Taking a knee for the anthem. That's not getting the job done. That's getting washed out. Something has to happen where you're forcing those people who can make change do something. When asked about a boycott, Powell says uh, uh, Norman Powell says that nothing changes until somebody does something dramatic. Then that's how it gets turned around. How do we demand more? How do we formulate a plan to create change and make it happen immediately? Because we've talked about it enough. Yeah, uh, like, yeah, that, that's, you know, again, here are guys that are just arms up in the air and don't know what to do. What, what do you do? What do you do to, to create change? Like, we've listened, and people have listened to everybody saying the way to go about this. Some have tried that way. Some Athletes have been in the community with police officers. Yep. Right? Still nothing. Okay? Here's what's incredible to me about this. And and I, like, I'm not the guy to, because I keep it real and a lot of people don't want to hear it. I was watching on Facebook. For some reason, I was scrolling on Facebook. And they had a cop stop a white guy. Right? And the white guy was chasing the cop. I saw that, yeah. I saw that. With a gun. Yep. And lived. You have this situation that just happened in Wisconsin. They had a domestic disturbance. Now, when you think of domestic disturbance and you see the cops surrounding a black dude, you think what? He was involved. Yep. He wasn't involved. He was stopping a fight. Between two women. Right? The kids are in the car. Three kids in the car. That's And they still, like, 
At like, what point is enough enough? When do, where you ever, now, when, do, when do you ever shoot that close to kids? Exactly. When do you ever shoot that close to kids? Exactly. And you also explain this to me. That guy didn't look like he was built like Shaq. Right? If you had a problem with him going in the car, why didn't all those damn cops that were shooting grab the guy and not let him go in the car? I, there was video of them trying to grab him on the other side, but even still, the thing They grab him! They grab him because you know what you say? You say this. We are police officers. We better grab him now because if he gets to his car, it's going to escalate. That's what your job is. Agreed. But I think the thing is, even if you aren't able to corral him, why are you opening up seven gunshots next to kids? If you can't corral him, why in the hell are you a cop? That is your job. My question is this. When your job is to avoid the catastrophe, there was none of those cops that were smart enough, regardless of what the situation is, that says, hey, Let's get him before he gets to the car. We can detain him because if we don't and he gets to that car, whatever excuse we use, this could go bad. Isn't that what you expect of your cops? They're trained for that to avoid the worst case scenario. So I don't know what I can't tell any of these athletes any of these people out there speaking on behalf of this situation, I can't tell them and nobody else can tell them they're doing it the wrong way, that they're not doing the right thing because nothing has worked. So I don't, I, I don't know. I don't know. I, I, don't, I don't know what to say about it. I don't know what can be done to avoid these situations. But I clearly see that, especially in this situation, that trained professionals who all know what will happen if he gets to that car and has a gun, you avoid it and stop him from getting to that car. And then I can't see nothing on Facebook with a white guy chasing around a cop that's pointing a gun at him and not get shot. When a guy who goes to his car with three kids in the car gets shot seven times. Seven times. Right. Well, we'll see. Uh, yeah, well, I guess we'll follow up. We'll see what the Heat have to say about it today. They'll talk in this afternoon um, and see what their reaction to is because uh, we've obviously heard this mostly from um, the players who have finished up their playoff rounds and what their, uh, their plans are in the midst of this all. But um, be interested to see what Miami has to say about it today.